Hare Krishna, we welcome you back to our series of 12 Mahajan, their life and pastimes. We are today starting episode number 24 and currently in episode 23 and 24 we are discussing the life and pastimes of the great Mahajan Prahlad Maharaj. In the previous episode we have described Prahlad Maharaj's appearance he, the torture done by his father Hiranyakshipu and how Nishingha avatar came and he delivered Hiranyakshipu. In this episode, we are going to discuss what we can learn, what lessons we can learn from the life and pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj. If you have missed the other episodes, either you can click the playlist of this video or I will give a link as a blog site at the description of this video. If you click there, you will be able to see other videos. Because in there are 12 Mahajans and one after one we are describing the life and pastimes of them. Because we know that if we are following their life and pastimes, then we can also achieve the greatest treasure of life which is Krishna Prem. So my request kindly be with us and go through the video series till end. Hare Krishna. Activity is he was steadfast with devotion. Despite of so many tortures was done by his father, he was absolutely confident that Lord Hari is the supreme personality of Godhead and he is the all merciful or powerful. So, for the purpose of saving his life, he never told to his father that, yes, yes, you are the Supreme Personality, Lord Hari is not. So, he had utmost belief, utmost faith in Lord Hari or Sri Hari. So much so faith that at the end, Sri Hari himself came as Narsinga Avatar to deliver Hiranyakshipu. The next point is the humility and compassion he had not only to his own people but the entire all living being. Prahlad Maharaj's devotion to Lord Narsimha was characterized by his humility, compassion and the desire to serve others. Prahlad Maharaj's humility and compassion even towards his enemies including his own father demonstrate the importance of seeing everyone as part of Lord's divine creation. As said in Srimad Bhagavatam in 7.9.41 that Prahlad Maharaj is saying, My dear Lord, you are always transcendentally situated on the other side of the river of death. But because of the reaction of our own activities, we are suffering on this side. Indeed, we have fallen into this river and are repeatedly suffering the pains of birth and death and eating horrible things. Now kindly look upon us, not only upon me, but also upon all others who are suffering. And by your causeless mercy and compassion, deliver us and maintain us. In fact, he further said in another Verses where he is doing Stuti to Narsimha Avatar in 7.9.44 he said that there are many saintly persons who are interested into their own deliverance. 
not caring for the big cities and towns they go to the himalayas or the forest to meditate with vows of silence which is called mauna brata they are not interested in delivering others as for me however i do not wish to be liberated alone leaving aside all this poor fools and rascals i know that without krishna consciousness without taking shelter of your lotus feet one cannot be happy therefore i wish to bring all of them back to the shelter of your at your lotus feet so when there if when if there was an opportunity for him to go back he chose to take all living being with him and that is his greatness Another important lesson we learn from his life is the power of chanting. Prahlad constantly chanted Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and remembered Sri Hari's name and his past time and life. And in doing so, he was able to maintain his devotion in the even in the face of ultimate adversity. So Prahlad Maharaj's devotion to chanting. serves as a reminder of the power of repetition and the importance of focusing the mind on the divine so it is told that there are the nine ways of doing bhakti which we call navavidha bhakti even somebody does one limb of that even he can be perfect prahlad maharaj did the chanting and remembrance of god and only by remembrance of lord he got perfect he became a mahajan when lord appears everybody becomes fearless as we say in the narsimha avatar stuti yato yato jami tato narsimha wherever we go we must always think of lord nishingha dev there will be no fear for the devotees of the lord so when narsimha dev appeared everybody was fearful at him nobody was able to go near him even as i told in the past time that brahma ji asked prahlad maharaj to go and pacify him but why prahlad maharaj could go to him because he was absolutely fearless he felt that because of his devotion and because of his attachment to god because of his krishna consciousness he is completely fearless so when we become krishna conscious we also become fearless or we do not have anything to worry he was so confident of the power of lord's name that he was a ultimate preacher at very young age he started preaching to all his classmates and also converted them from the demon to a krishna bhakta and he could only do that because he have, he was straight first on his devotion and he was doing his sadhana well when we are also Con- have conviction in our mind and we do our sadhana well we can do the preaching far better than ordinary condition prahlad maharaj wanted to serve his guru because in reality he had never seen narad muni Na- devarshi narad talked about shrimad bhagavatam to kayadhu who felt asleep and prahlad maharaj heard it when he was in umb of his mother so when lord nishingha dev asked him to go back to godhead he said i want to serve my guru because my guru has done so much for me and he has brought lord krishna himself to me lord narsingha himself came to me i cannot go without serving so we should be very careful of any success we get and we should remember the mercy of the guru as a conclusion we can say that following the lessons from prahlad maharaj's life and following his footstep we we can cultivate the way of surrender chanting humility compassion and an eternal desire to serve others in that case we too will be able to attain the lord's mercy 
and achieve true spiritual success. Pralhad Maharaj's life serves as an excellent example of the power of devotion and the path to the spiritual liberation. So as I told and I am telling in every episode, when we learn and read about 12 Mahajan, their work and pastime give us the lesson how we should able to lead our life. Hare Krishna.